Welcome back to New to Medical Device Sales, a day in the life of a medical sales rep. Uh, today, we are having some fun. Uh, I wanted to show you guys, again, just trying to always show you guys variety. Today, how it kind of looks like for me, we are getting ready to head to an account. Right now, I got a surgery this morning. It is currently 7 a.m., uh, so we're just going to go to that account. The surgery is at 7.30 for myself, um, and then... We have to leave here around 8.45 because I have to go down about two hours, um, got lunches with new doctors. So again, just showing you some travel uh, today. Again, surgery in the morning, going to travel, do some lunches, and then we'll travel back. Uh, but again, just always putting variety out there and let's go have a good day. So we are just here at the hospital waiting for our case. It is currently about 7.00. 20. Um, our case is scheduled for 7.30. So they brought the patient back. We're running on time. This is one of my favorite surgery centers. So we're going to go uh, get this surgery knocked out. Hopefully should be done uh, fairly early. And then afterwards, we will be getting ready to go driving. All right. So that case took a little longer than expected. Um, I got to leave here. It's about 8.20. I got to leave here at 8.45 because I got to drive to an account that's two hours away. Um, so we are going to rush home real quick, uh, just let my dogs out, and then we'll be heading two hours away uh, to meet with some new doctors. We are home. I figured I'd film. So that's Mr. Braxton. Hey, Sam, what you think? He just got a haircut. Looks so doodly. He's a woodle, a wheat and terrier, a wheat and terrier poodle. Um, but just came here. We're letting these guys out, and then I'm making some breakfast aka just having a quick protein shake uh the thing i just want to do this because i'm gonna be driving i don't want to film while i'm driving but the thing i want to talk about like you guys have to be ready once you break in to not eat <laughs> like the amount of times i'm taking a protein shake i probably won't eat again till like three four o'clock um and it's 8 30 right now just because i could grab lunch you can go and and buy it or you could come prepared but like for me, today's an off day for working out, so I'm taking a rest day so I don't eat as much food. But I just say that because a lot of times with like doing this job, the amount of times, like yesterday's a perfect example. I didn't have time to grab breakfast. I left at 6.30 because I'm not hungry at 6.30. Um, had cases till 10, and then I was getting ready to come home, and then I had two cases call add-on. I didn't get home till 1 o'clock in the afternoon is when I had my first meal. Um, and it's just as it is. Yeah, you can go eat out, I guess, if that's what you want to do. I personally try not to eat out too much um, just because I, I don't like to. But yeah, the thing I just wanted to touch on here, you're when you guys are in this position, there's going to be days that like there's been times it's been like three or four o'clock before I had my first meal because the day just started at seven, seven o'clock and then it just took off and I was like oh my gosh um my teammate had a great post Alex if you guys follow him you can check them out I'm gonna have him on the podcast here soon um because I also wanted to touch on this real quick his teamwork makes the dream work joke around about it all the time but it's the reality um I was able to set up this lunch today that we're gonna drive two hours to because he covered a case for me uh two days ago I was able to go down drive get these lunches set up and come back otherwise it the timing it just wouldn't work for me to drive during the day so I thankful for the teamwork with him. But just like that, yesterday I covered a couple cases for him. You know, so whenever you're doing things, teamwork makes the dream work. I joke around, put it on the LinkedIn all the time. But again, reality is if you guys aren't with somebody who's like a team player, it makes it tough. So again, when you guys are going through your interview process, when you guys are coming in, you you should say, I tell people this all the time, you should say, like, I know my job is to make your life easier, right? Especially if you're coming in as an associate sales rep, my job is to come and make your life easier. We're a team. Um, I'm going to have your back. You're going to have mine, right? Like that should be in because a lot of times we'll talk to people in the territory. Alex was telling me this yesterday. People will be like, you help each other out. Like why? Like, doesn't that affect your like territories? And, and we look at it as right. Like we have, I have my territory, he has his territory, but around the area, we we're each other. So it's always, again, just trying to help each other out. Um, but yeah, I, I also want to just say, I don't change anything up that I say to you guys on here on the podcast. Then when you guys call me, um, everyone who reaches out can attest to that. And also I want to appreciate, say, I appreciate you guys because the amount of text and calls and everything I've got lately, um, just reaching out, wanting to learn more, telling me they bought the ebook, telling me that they're getting job offers, LinkedIn, like that's my most exciting is I have a bunch of screenshots of how many job offers uh, people have told me that they've, they've taken, they've accepted, put more people on the podcast. So just super excited to share with you guys. Um, but yeah, so just going to grab the dogs, 
go to drink breakfast and we are gonna go drive two hours to go have this lunch. Also, sorry, I forgot this. I wanted to talk about just coming prepared, right? So like this is my stuff that I'll be taking with me um, to just talk about my product. I have videos on my phone. I have every question that they're gonna ask me most likely because I've done this enough um, to be able to be like, hey, why are we different? What, why should you use us? Um, what benefits do we offer? your patients plus yourself and just being able to come prepared. You know, like I have everything that I need in here. Um, I have my videos, my files all on my phone. Um, so no matter what, it's no different when I tell you guys, you gotta be prepared for the interview. It's when I go do these lunches, like I'm trying to think three steps ahead, uh, but always make sure that you come prepared because, you know, for example, if I leave one thing out, now when I tell them about it, but they can't see it and they can't feel it, they can't hold it, they can't visualize themselves using it. It, it takes away from the experience and could lead to you not getting getting them to try it. So just no matter what you guys do, come prepared. All right, let's go get this lunch. All right, my friends. So we just got done with our meeting. Um, we had our lunch. It went well. Um, this was with two new physicians that haven't been seen. They, again, they were two hours away. So I wanted to go try to let them see our product. One had never seen it before, never heard of it. The other one had, but they only had seen it like seven years ago, which was a way different model um, and everything. Uh, just being honest, both of them, they one didn't think that the hospital would be interested in getting them because she told me that they're on because of the way of the atmosphere of the world right now. Um, not interested in purchasing anything with it's looking like COVID could come back in um, and shut down elective surgeries. And the other one was like, I'm not having any problems with my other one. Again, not every single one's a win. Uh, yes, there are things I said and did and, and I left my card and we're going to talk later. But not everyone's like immediate, hey, one that one got a case scheduled, um, which it is what it is. But just getting my foot in the door, I guess, down uh, in a place that I'm not in, in a market I'm not in right now. So went good. Now driving back and going to get some food when we get home. All right, so we finally got some lunch in us. Uh, didn't end up eating lunch till around 2.30. It is currently about 3.30. I have another meeting. Um, decided to change because I just didn't want to be in scrubs anymore. So going to do one more meeting right now at 3.30. Um, and then was doing a little bit of computer work. We'll come back. I got more computer work to do because it's the end of the month. So just got to get all my stuff in. Um, just like reports and then also expenses and all that good stuff. So again, not a crazy day for us. Just wanted to give you guys something different. Um, but we're going to go hit this meeting out and we will check in a little later. Just finishing up for the day. The meeting went well. If you guys have watched any of my videos, you will know that I am about to do a podcast. Um, the day's been good. I wanted to show you guys a little different day. Again, pretty simple. Uh, it just, again, dry a lot of window time today, had four hours worth of driving. Um, so that's something I always just say, I've said it before on here, you guys got to get used to driving and get used to talking to, uh, not talking. I'm just used to like being a road warrior as they say. Um, and, and today was just a driving day for myself, but I am finishing up. It is currently 5.30. I just came home after those meetings. I uh, did a computer work. Again, at the end of the month, if you guys don't know, you have to do like you have to ex turn in expense reports. You have to like make sure everything's up to date um, on certain just corporate things and just finishing up trainings. So I try to do that as well. And then just... Keep on going, get ready for the next day, get ready for the next week. And um, and again, since it's 5.30, I'm well, like no accounts are calling me after this a time for, at least for me right now in the division I'm in. Um, so that's why, okay, I feel like I can I can call it and, and start doing a podcast. Uh, but again, been a full day. Uh, I just talked to a couple of client, or clients, uh, I mean, people as well. Uh, really fun to talk to you guys again. Every time I say you reach out, I promise you, I reach out usually try to within the hour or, or that week if I can. Um, if, if I don't and you have reached out, please reach out again. A lot of times I'll be talking to somebody or I'll, I'll look at the message. I'm about to reply or call them and then I get another call and have to do work. So again, always love connecting with you guys. Did want to just show you guys these new t-shirts uh, that we got made. So it says, I broke in and on the back it says, new to medical device sales. Um, and I'm just really excited to share this with you guys because 
I just wanted to make a present for you guys that break in and, and, and it's a lot of work and I just wanted to make like a little community and, and give you guys something just to, you know, take a picture with or just have. And I just want you guys to know how much I really do appreciate um, everybody who reaches out um, and just tells me how helpful this is. It's, it's great to see how many people pick up the ebook and tell me how it's helped them get the jobs to see all the screenshots and everything of people getting jobs. It's, it's just, I'm so fortunate and I feel so thankful for you guys. And I just want to say thank you um, from the bottom of my heart to everybody who just follows along on this journey. Again, my goal was just to help as many people break in. And, and again, I try to be as open as I can. Everybody who calls me, I'm, I'm a real dude and I just try to be as open because I have nothing to hide. So happy to answer any questions. Um, and again, if you guys do have questions, please feel free. You can hit me up on YouTube here. You can hit me up on LinkedIn, Jacob McLaughlin or new to medical device sales on TikTok or on Instagram. Again, my, my whole goal is just to provide as much value as I can to you guys. And I just want you to know how much I appreciate it. Again, nothing too crazy today. Now I have the dogs fighting in the background, um, but it's been a it's been a good day. Again, as you'll see, not every single day is running around like a chicken with your head cut off. Um, and also, it does help now that I'm finally in my territory and starting to get a feel. But no matter, thank you so much for all you guys' help. Thank you for everything you guys do. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please share it. Please please press the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one.